Welcome to Gospel Embassy Chapel and be spiritually nourished by Pastor Peter Murwabi. Skriza, shetani yupo na lazima tumuchulishe kwamba sisi pia tumemfahamu Mungu. You can also watch the Power and Uplifting Sermons live on YouTube channel every Saturday. From now going forward, nobody in this church is dying before the time in Jesus name. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscription button on the right. For all prayer requests and information, call the number on the screen. 1st Corinthians 2 verse 4 My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with the demonstration of the Spirit's power. Gospel Embassy Network TV The place to feed on heavenly bread. Matthew 3 verse 11 where John is speaking about what he is doing. And this is what he says. I baptize you with water for repentance. But after me will come one who is more powerful than I. O sandals I am not fit to carry. She quoted but she did not read. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and the fire. So there is, there is what John is doing and there is another one that is coming. He is not coming to do nothing. He is coming to do something. Then John is explaining what he is doing but at the same time, he's explaining what Jesus will do. Praise God. That's why he's very specific. He does not say, I am baptizing. He's saying, I baptize you with water for repentance. As a matter of fact, John came baptizing with water for two reasons. One, for repentance. And the second reason is found in John 1 that 1. John 1 that 1. So the first reason, he says, I have come to baptize with water for repentance. But after me, anytime a person says after me, it simply means after I am done. He's not saying that during my time, another one will come who will also be baptizing as I am baptizing. He's saying after me. That's language, isn't it? So after me, another will come. But this that is coming is greater than I am. And therefore that means that even his kind of baptism will be greater. So he says, I, I am doing this for repentance, but... After me, another one that is greater than I am will come and they shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and the fire. So the one that is coming is not going to baptize with water. Glory be to Jesus. So John gives the first reason why he is baptizing with water. He says, I am baptizing with water for repentance. And reason number two. John chapter 1 verse 31. Now, when John saw Jesus passing in verse 29, the next day John saw Jesus coming toward him and he said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Now verse 30. This is the one I meant when I said, A man who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. Now verse that one, I myself did not know him. I didn't know him personally. But the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be revealed to Israel. He gives a reason. Reason number one, repentance. 
For what reason? Repent because a man greater than me is coming. And reason number two, I came baptizing so that he might be revealed to Israel. Now verse 33, even verse 32 is very important for you. He says, the, then John gave this testimony. Everyone say testimony. He gave this testimony. I saw the spirit come down from heaven as a dove and it remained on him. I saw the spirit come. When John was baptizing with water, he never saw the spirit come. But when Jesus came, John saw the spirit. And verse 33, I could not have known him except that the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, the man on whom you see the spirit come down and remain is he who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. So the baptism of Jesus is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And the baptism of John is the baptism of water. Which one do you choose? We have two men that are baptizing. John is baptizing. Jesus is baptizing. Jesus is baptizing with the Holy Spirit. John is baptizing with the water. Which one do you choose of the two? But John can advise you. He is advising you. He is telling you the man that is coming after me is greater. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit after I am done. So why should you go to a baptism that is already passed and not embrace the one that is current? Think about it. Just somebody clap for Jesus. Think about it. Now, listen to Jesus. Acts chapter 1 verse 5, the last verse on that topic. Acts chapter 1 and verse 5. Everyone say Acts chapter 1 and verse 5. Listen. We begin from verse number 4. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised. Listen to this now. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. This is Jesus. Akawambia, kuna gift my father had promised. Na mumenisikia ni kiongea. Kwa hiyo musiondoke Jerusalem, mungoche iyo gift. Adavu akasama verse 5. For John baptized with water, but in a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. The people of this generation must learn to understand the Bible and embrace the leading of the Holy Spirit so that you can know what he expects of you. Praise God. I personally was baptized with water in 1992. So many days later, about 20 years, I came to understand that the only baptism that witches cannot participate in is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Because it's fire. I'm telling you, this is terrible. Somebody has got to think. Everybody say, I will think again. We, 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 we given more time in the future. We, we will start more. I have a, I have a comprehensive uh, study on this and I have done a book on this baptism. Now, there, there is another baptism of, of believers, which we I have never told this church, because this, this church came, many people that came to this church were poverty infected. So I, I had to give the power that brings people out of poverty. Praise God. <laughs> but I, I'm going to teach you about the baptism. One time Jesus asked Peter, are you able to go through the baptism that I will go through? That is the baptism that you need to know. It's the baptism of the church. The baptism of the church is the baptism of suffering. Sometimes when you think like you are, you are actually rising and, and, then, and God makes you to go through the baptism, you fall down again. You buy a car, it crashes. You build a house, it's taken by auctioneers. That is the baptism of fire. 
One day I will teach you about it. But, but for now, receive the baptism of the Spirit and be empowered against witchcraft. He says, when you shall be baptized. That is the time. He said, do not leave Jerusalem until you receive this baptism. Now, after you have received the baptism of the Spirit, you are supposed to receive the baptism of fire. One day, the baptism of fire is not conducted by a pastor. It's conducted by your personal experience and testimony. You will, you will know about it in the future. And also watch the power and uplifting someone's live on YouTube channel every Saturday. From now going forward, nobody in this church is dying before the time in Jesus' name. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscription button on the right. For all prayer requests and information, call the number on the screen. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 4 My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with the demonstration of the Spirit's power. Gospel Embassy Network TV The place to feed on heavenly bread.